ご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします Hey guys, Kakarot1970 again. This time with an unboxing of the 144 scale high grade Universal Century Kempfer from the 0080 OVA series. And this model kit has been provided to me by my favorite online hobby store, Hobby Link Japan. So if you want to buy this thing, there is a link in the description down below. And on the very action y cover, we see a weapon that we don't see a lot with mobile suits a shotgun. And we don't just get one of them, we get two of them. Then on the sides, we get the usual front shot, back shot, little action pose. Even though, to be honest, it doesn't look super action y, but we do get to see the chain mines. Then on the side, we just get the cover shot again. And here we get to see all of his accessories that he comes with the chain mine, which will have an included wire, then the two shotguns that, will, that also come with an extra stock. Beam saber and what not. So let's open this thing up and see what's lurking inside. And I just realized that with the new packaging and what not, now that they've changed to,、uh, from Bandai to Bandai Spirits and the blue logo, they no longer have the price printed at the end of the barcode. I thought that was only going to be something they did with newer models going forward. But apparently, it's going to be a bit rougher for people now to check prices in store. That is slightly annoying.、Um, anyways,、uh, we get a nice selection of hands and even two shades of gray. And I don't know why, but <laughs> this looked like a landing gear. A pretty big landing gear for a 144 scale kit. But yeah, so moving on. And. Uh, we get some nice marking stickers, but I'm gonna guess that that's only the Xeon symbol that goes onto the top of the camphor. But it is really cool that we get marking stickers for a more unique mobile suit that's not really mass produced. Because for some reason, we tend to only get marking stickers like that for mass production units, like the various Zaku's, gyms, and stuff like that. But never really for. Yeah, a unique mobile suit like an Ace or a Gundam or like Shard Zaku or something like that. At least not in 144 scale high grade universal century. And looking at some more of the parts. And finally, we get the weapons. Two whole. Oh, wait, is this this? Ah,、uh, that's. <laughs> I kind of should have expected that because we get two of all of the weapons. So it is one. So yeah, it is, a pretty good, so it is a pretty good idea to have like just two runners of the same stuff. But yeah, that is a lot of weapons for one single mobile suit. And then let's have a look at what the manual tells us about the Kempfer. Get a quick overview of the history, a quick detailing of all of the weapons. I've got Beam Saber, the Sub Thrusters, which is not a weapon. Then we get the Sturmfaust. And Wait, hold on a second. Schutzrum Fausto. Is this the same Schutzrum of the Schutzrum Gallus? Which would mean that it's not the Schutzrum Gallus, but actually the Sturm Gallus? Or is this just a different kind of Sturm Faust? I'm gonna have to look up the writing of this stuff because I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a Sturm Faust. And having the Shudram Gallus as the Sturm Gallus would make a lot more sense. Huh. Anyways, moving on with、um, this video, because this is about the Kempfer, not about the Shudram or Sturm Gallus.、Um, yeah, Japanese writing is pretty amazing when you want to transcribe English or German words for that matter. So, back to the Kempfer. We get the chain mine, we get the main thrusters, and whatnot.、Uh, so, yeah, this looks like it's going to be a pretty amazing machine. I do wonder how action packed the posing is going to be, because honestly, this is not really selling me on dynamic posing, so to say. And there we go. All that's left to do for me now is to build this thing. And I really wonder how poseable this thing is going to be. Because when you look on the side, you can definitely pull off some cool poses, but I still wonder how 
posable it's going to be. So then, all that's left for me to do now is to give a big thank you to Hobbling Japan. If you want to buy yourself your own Kempfer, there is a link in the description down below. As always, a big thank you to the Patreon supporters. I hope all of you watching have a great day, and I will see you all tomorrow with a review of this thing.